I never really thought I'd have to make this type of video, but um, yeah, the slab's gone, guys. It's, uh, it's been demolished. I think some property developers come in and they're clearing it out and they're gonna build something here. Pretty devo about it. There's people here working right now. We'll have a quick look. As you guys can see, it's like all gone. Nothing's left. I was able to pull out the flat bar and the curb, but that's all I could save. It's now, uh, yeah, they're even ripped up the car park here and they're doing like a full demo, I think. Sorry that, you know, it's gone now. New owners now. Yeah, okay. it's actually on part of it, but um, yeah. But uh, yeah. now, you know, it's it's got a, we, you can't you can't come on here. I just wanted to kind of document like, yeah. right, this is where, where we were. This is where we were and, you know, we had good times here <laughs> and we all skated and had fun and. Yeah. She's gone now. Good job, I'll tell you that. Cheers, Nothing man. Else. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Best hour ever. Oh, I can't believe how much effort you put in the building. Yeah, that. I got everyone to donate money. Oh, right. So like everyone put in money, then oh, went and bought the like, cement and stuff oh, okay. and like the cinder block. The happened. purchase happened a year ago. But oh, what I'm saying okay. is, we knew you guys were coming in, but now, yeah. now it's taking on to another stage. We've got to keep it tidy and yeah, you know. Okay. Thanks, anyway, dude. boys, cheers. Thanks, mate. Have a good one, mate. You too. Yeah, so basically what happened was we we're all out skating yesterday and I got a message from Guy, one of the locals, and he had said that there was people at the slab pulling it down. And my first instinct was like, oh, there must be like some like people like trying to pull rails out or like destroy things. And then um, I asked him like, are they like tradies or are they like just people? And he said like they had bobcats and they were tradies. He sent me this video and uh, you can see that they've put they've put up a bigger fence around the slab and they had a bobcat in there cleaning it up. We were about two hours away at this point. So there was no point in trying to drive all the way back. I just kind of enjoyed the rest of the day skating. I tried not to think about it too much. When I come back that night, I figured I'd go go past the slab pretty much everything that we had built was destroyed half of it was missing a lot of it I couldn't find I was able to pull out the flat bar we made and the red curb I had to pull out this flat bar and red curb under this like stack of like rubble and bricks and wood and stuff just being there pulling out like the rail and the curb from underneath all this rubble and stuff kind of felt like I was like pulling out a body or something out of like a, a blown up building. I don't know if that sounds stupid or not, it probably does, but that's just how I felt. I feel like I have an attachment to this place and the things we built there and stuff. Being able to build the slab up and then have it running and have everyone come down and lend a hand, it became like a hub for like all us local skateboarders. And I made a lot of friends there, a lot of good memories there. Like overall, it was just an awesome place to be. Like during lockdown, I didn't have much to do with myself. That's when I first started building the slab and it gave me a purpose and it gave me something to look forward to and something to work towards. I'm sure I can speak for all creative people. When you create something, it's like a piece of yourself you're creating and you're putting out there and then to see it destroyed and gone, it hurts a lot because it feels like a part of you is like gone. There's always been a really good vibe at the slab but when I went there the other night, it was kind of like that vibe had died and it was gone and it was just kind of like a ghost town like when I went in like the quarter pipe was like all smashed up and torn down the ledge was gone everything was gone like I'm lucky I was able to pull out the flat bar and the red curb I'm not gonna go back there and build obviously because I know that they're watching it now and they knew that we were building there he told me that they knew that a bunch of skaters were going in there and skating it and building stuff and they were worried that if someone got hurt they would sue and all that legal jargon I kind of put a lot of my heart into things and I've put a lot of my heart and soul into building up that spot and now it's gone and it just makes me feel like really discouraged i want to create i want to share with you guys like my ideas and aspirations and stuff like that and i want to show you guys that it's good to be passionate about things and want to be creative and do things without that in your life your life sucks if you have no passion you're not passionate about anything or you don't have any sorry yeah I'm sitting here, minding my own business, trying to shoot this video right now, and I got COVID testers coming up to me asking me if I'm a journalist covering COVID. Who cares about COVID? Oh, honestly, it's stupid. No one cares about COVID. It's like not even that big of a deal anymore. I'm sorry, guys. I just feel really angry and sad, and I don't know what to do. Building the slab was a big pinnacle moment in this channel. Like before that, my channel was getting tiny bit of traction you know starting to t take off a tiny bit but once I started building the slab and doing the DIY diaries that's when it all started to go up 
and like I'd worked so hard to get to that point and now the main thing that was helping me build my channel it's gone and it just makes me feel worried because I want to do YouTube full time I want to be able to go travel and skate and have fun share with you guys all of that stuff it just feels like everything is against me right now which probably sounds stupid I know I'm just feeling like this right now because I'm in some type of way because of the slabs just being demolished but I don't know I'm trying to be as transparent as I can with you guys and I don't want to lose what we had going like we had the builds going we had people skating and having fun and I felt like I was kind of giving something back to the skateboarding community out here and I don't want to lose that that's all I want to be able to create for you guys and skate and create for myself most importantly because once again if you're a creative person you know what it's like to be able to just create from your heart and then people like it it feels very rewarding and satisfying and that just fuels your passion even more the slab was like a spot for us all to come and skate and hang out and it was a catalyst as well because it just started to grow skateboarding out here a lot more now it's gone and like sure i can go and build another diy spot but now like the reality has hit me this could happen again you know that's i guess this is just part of the diy game like things like this can happen it can get shut down it can get demolished it can become a bust and i guess now I can be grateful that I have more knowledge and experience of building DIYs from building that spot up. This is an end of an era. This is the end of the slab, it's gone. And all we have now is just memories. I don't know when the next DIY diaries is gonna be. I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. I just have to roll with the punches and then figure out a plan and go from there. Tigers, you're talking about